Hi, I'm Roman Zabicki, author of Practical Security. Here's what you can expect to find in my book. This book was written for the majority of people whose work has an impact on security. That is, it's for programmers and sysadmins who don't have the word security in their job title. It's for people who maybe don't have a formal security background, but are still asked to fit security in on top of all the other work they do, building and maintaining useful computer systems. This book is meant to cover some of the basics to tide you over so that when you are able to get training or you are able to bring in security experts to help, they can hit the ground running and help you tackle the difficult security decisions that are specific to your organization. The book covers this in five chapters. The first is patching. I put it first because if you only read one chapter from this book, I want it to be the patching chapter. You don't need to pick up a lot of jargon and learn a lot of esoteric security trivia to excel here. You just need to get really good at what you're already doing. You have to be able to produce an inventory of all the computers and software you're responsible for, and you have to be able to upgrade software quickly and reliably. There's a lot of super interesting, very clever research being done these days, but in almost every case, all it means to you, the practitioner, is that you need to upgrade. So get really good at that. We don't know when the next supercritical vulnerability will be discovered in software that we use. All we can do is put ourselves in a position where we'll be able to upgrade quickly when it is discovered. Put in the work now so that you'll be able to upgrade when the next big vulnerability is discovered. Next, we have a chapter on software vulnerabilities. So what are common software vulnerabilities? What do they look like? And how do we prevent them from getting into the code that we write? This chapter covers cross-site scripting and SQL injection, two very common types of software vulnerabilities. If you understand these, you'll be able to keep them from getting introduced into your code. Cryptography. It's a fascinating subject, but it's super easy to get wrong. So use libraries that take the tricky choices away from you and just work in a safe mode out of the box. Windows is everywhere. Here are some Windows-specific steps you can take that will improve your security posture. Finally, we have phishing. There's no need for an attacker to use super advanced attack techniques if they can just send an email and trick you into giving up your credentials. It sounds simple, but time and time again, you see breach write-ups that start with successful phishing campaigns. That's it. Five topics to get you started on the path to more secure systems.